Hello there. So as I scroll down this site, some sections are expanding like this, while other sections are shrinking. Basically, this is happening on a scroll and it's helpful if you want some information to stand out and catch attention. So today, I'll show you how to make such an effect in just two minutes. We'll use GSEP and Elementor for this. But first, all credits for this video goes to Andrea. I saw her video and it's her GSEP code we're using here. Please go subscribe to our channel because it's amazing. All right, now here's my page and it had the containers which I want to animate. Let's start by going to settings and click here and go here to turn off the native scrolling effect. Otherwise, our GSEP code will cause errors later. Now, this is the container we'll be animating. So let's drag and drop an HTML container like this. Then let's go to Andrea's video. And in the description, the code is available. So let's copy that, then come back and paste the effect here. Now look for your CSS class name, which is here and also here. Let me make this shorter in both places like this, then copy it, then click on this container, go to advanced and paste the name in the CSS class field. Then click preview and the animation is working now. But let me show you how to customize this for your own needs. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So here you can see these markers on the screen, right? The start point marks the beginning of the effect and the end point is where the effect stops. So to make the effect faster or slow, we can update the attributes on these markers. Like if I add a larger negative number for the start and a smaller end value, so our animation takes less scrolling to activate and it's faster. Then I can change the size of the effect from here. The left value is for the minimum size for the container as you scroll, while the right value is for the maximum size at the end. Both values are between zero to one, so, if I add a smaller number here and a larger number below, then the scrolling effect will change size like this. When you're done, don't forget to delete this line of code or the markers will be available on the live site as well. Once done, make sure to save changes. Comment below what you want to watch next and here's another video I made yesterday.